Okay, hey, welcome to the first segment of uh, Talking Footy with Thomas. Uh, I'm here with South Junior Brendan Treston. Mate, you're fresh back from a stint in Melbourne. How was that? Uh, it was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good getaway for a year. And yeah. um, you just finished telling me that uh, you got to meet a few of the stars down there, wine and dine with them. Um, any special stories come, come to mind? Nah, nah none that I can sort of brag about. That's, um, that's pretty boring. <laughs> what about, uh, I hear you, you got pretty tight with Craig Bellamy. Taught you a few things down there. How was that? Yeah, no, nah, I used to go over his place for dinners a fair bit, you know, get to know him. Met the wife? Yeah, wife and family, son. Excellent, so you've always got a place to stay down there next time you're in Melbourne. Always, yeah. Okay, that's excellent. But, um, before you left, uh, I must say you were probably uh, one of the worst dressed and groomed people in Mackay, so how long did it take you to apologise to Melbourne Way of Life? Oh, I've came back and I'm still the worst dressed because I've accustomed to the Melbourne lifestyle and people just think it's ridiculous and I don't know why. Yeah, I did see you, you were wearing a bit of a snazzy um, shirt out, which um, I don't think Mackay is ever going to be ready for that type of attire, but <laughs> if anyone can pull it up it's probably you. Are you Anything new to come this year? Nah, it's just same old, uh, you know, we get a few good shirts, button-ups, no t-shirts. Nobody wants a t-shirt. Excellent. And um, you followed former Mackay Cutters coach Anthony Stevold down there. Um, how was that time? That oh, was good. Uh, good coach. Uh, he's doing well, I think. And so, so if he's still down there, he'll be down there for the long haul, do you think? Yeah, he's likely down there. I think he's got a good position down there. Good gig. Good gig. Now, yeah, Brendan, we've had a, um, a bit of a shaky start to the season. Two wins, two losses. What do you think we need to do to improve uh, for the rest of the season? Uh, I think just uh, maybe attention to detail. Like we're uh, we're not closing out games good. So I think once we sort of keep following the patterns and the you know game plans that Simo puts in place, we'll um, we'll get away with the victory. And, you know, I think we'll really be more competitive. Yeah, we've been a bit patchy at times in games and. Sparks of brilliance and also some some pretty ordinary play. But is there anyone that's impressed you so far during this season? Uh, Joshy Osborne. He's tough. He's really impressed you. Um, yourself, at 36 years of age. I think you've uh, you're still going strong. Yeah, four more seasons left for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, nah, Josh, Josh has been going really well. Yeah. Yeah, both in defence and attack. And, um, the shining light so far, so. Yeah, I think Brian thinks it's one for sure. He's, he's a great player. Um, yeah, right. So I think everyone can improve more. But, so. okay, definitely. And who we got next game? We've got brothers in the, on the Anzac Day. Day. Yeah. That should be a big event. Any predictions? Oh, I think we'll get ahead, get a win, you know. Brothers are undefeated, though, right? so it should be tough. But, um, you know, I don't think, you know, if we get back to game plans and get a bit of uh, discipline, you know, I think we'll really, you know, make the bench. Well, Cutters seem to be, um, seem to be the benchmark so far for the comp. Um, anyone out there, definitely get down. Bit of two up early on, then come straight outside for a game of footy. Should be a big day.